This is gonna be bad. I don't want to look at it. I got a new camera, guys. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> today I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> because today I'm gonna be showing you guys old art and reacting to a bunch of old paintings and drawings that I dug up and that I haven't seen for literally years because it's traumatic and I don't want to look at them. I thought this would be a really fun video and I thought it might be inspiring and just like a funny goofy time to look down memory lane. My mom found this huge box and it's the most terrifying box in the world. Oh my God. I'm scared, but I'm also really excited because I think all of this stuff is really precious and really important. And even though I'm gonna read myself for filth and like, and drag myself and make fun of it, don't take offense to it. Everything I say is just me being goofy with it. But really all of these pieces were really important to me and I still think they're really awesome for where I was at. But right now they look really crusty and I'm excited to kind of get into it. <laughs> I don't want to open it. It's like looking at me on the ground and it's not good. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, she's a little big. She's just a little big. I'm already looking at some of the top of it and I already don't want to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm the most original queen. Look at how original this is. Have you ever seen this before? No, you have not. It's unfinished, so it's conceptual. I was pretty freaking young and this was just, I think, an acrylic painting. Super fun, Vincent Van Gogh, but like make it throw up themed, make it vomit colored. Oh my God, you guys. This I did like when I first started Instagram back in like 2015 or 2016. And it was one of my first acrylic pieces I was trying out. Um, I was really into like, I mean, I still am. I was really into like Happy D artists and like Tanya Shatsuba. It's really cute. I like the snails on it still. I think the snails still like hold their own. They're really f cute. Oh my God. Okay, guys, this is my first, this is my first ever acrylic painting that I did. This one's not that bad either. I really like this one too. <laughs> I might want to repaint some of these because their concepts are kind of fun and the characters are really funky. Um, so let me know if you'd like me to repaint any of these and let me know which one you think would make a really good painting um, for this year. So far, this isn't that bad. I think all the bad stuff, all the scary stuff, it's like towards the bottom of the box. But this I did for an art contest forever ago and I was so proud of this painting. And now looking back, she's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but like that face, someone took her chin and like yanked it forward and she is just not a looker. This is crazy. I remember making all these videos and feeling on top of the world. And that's awesome because I felt confident and I should have been because these are really cool still. Oh my God. Stop. Y'all, yeah, this freaking, this painting, this was my self portrait, I think in 2016 and I'm freaking Dad. There's a video for this on the channel too. All of this stuff is on the channel. It's not that old. This is precious. This is what I looked like in 2016, guys. I mean, I probably looked a little bit like more anxious and hairier and like stressed. So cute. I look basically the same. <laughs> oh my God. He doesn't have pink hair. What the f In the mustache? No. <laughs> okay. So this one, this one has a date on it. This is from 2013. It's a pencil drawing I did of a hummingbird and a bumblebee, but it's really cute still. I mean, I don't know. She's kind of dusty and crusty, but this painting is so precious. But this is a piece of fan art for one of my favorite um, YouTubers. She like literally raised my ass. But this is I Has Cupquake or Tiffy Quake on YouTube. And it meant the world to me. And I think she saw it and like reshared it at some point. And that like blew my mind. Kind of cute. Don't mind me just like launching the paintings. Oh my God. Girl, where is your mouth? <laughs> it's an oil painting, but obviously something went terribly wrong. Yeah, she looks like a victim of a crime. Oh, fuck. almost dropped it. This is not my favorite painting. When I was younger, I was obsessed with playing video games and Sonic the Hedgehog was like my favorite thing in the world. I was obsessed. And one of the characters was named Rude and she had like massive boobs and was just like killing the game. And little gay David was like, I wanna be her when I grow up. I love that, yes, energy. So I would draw her religiously. Love it, 2012, David representing too many drawings of this character, like girl, girl. What was I doing? <laughs> His profile, her profile, <laughs> it's a little flag. We love being a patriotic little nine-year-old. That's wonderful. 
I don't know, when I was younger, I think I really looked up to a lot of like the anti-heroes. Do you know what I mean? I feel like a lot of villains growing up, they always painted them very queer and they did it on purpose. But as a young kid, I looked up to all of them because I thought they were all such boss bitches, like wielding their sexuality, living their best life. So I think because of that, when I had like the Sonic games and like the Mario games and all that stuff, I was always drawn to the characters that were more in your face, blunt. And that's how I am now. Like I think all of that kind of became who I am. That is a big passion of mine when I was younger, I guess, was drawing this bat with the boobs. I don't know y'all. <laughs> I made a little book. This is, okay, I remember this vividly. Bitch, she is falling apart. <laughs> I, I think I made this when I was like in third grade and he is just living his best life. They're in love. Oh, why isn't this gay? I feel like I used to make all of my old books look kind of gay. Yes, proportions. Oh my God, that is that dress is not doing anything for her figure whatsoever. She's grappling out the window while thinking run away. Like plot? We don't know her. The Sphinx, the figure. Whenever I would write these books, I would write the entire plot of the whole book on the back because I thought that's what it was for. I didn't realize that it was like supposed to be a little hint or like a little like preview. Look, she is thriving. I'm telling you these, these queer coded villains are just in my life. Like that's, that's amazing. That's a whole vibe. I would, I love her. Oh my God, look, and he's about to freaking get it on with this lady that is Sleeping Beauty, I think. Girl, Rapunzel, living her best life. My hair could never, I bleach it too much. It just falls out if I did that. <laughs> She's back, look, literally. Literally, I was only playing Sonic the Hedgehog. It's so funny, I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my God, the spelling is so good. This is, I think this is probably like something we had to do where we had to figure out what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be an artist, but spelled A-R-T-E-S-T. -E yes, I could not. Honestly, I spell the same now. I had to be in a spelling bee in like second or third grade. I could spell big words, like long words, and thick words. Like one word would mess me up and that was just, and I would always say G. Oh, I mean J, sorry. But I was like, girl, you know what? I will not get asked that out of the thousands of words that could ask me. I was the first one up. I was so excited. I was like, girl, I'm gonna freaking kill it. Let's do this thing. I get up on stage, I stand behind the microphone and the bitch goes, spell just. And I shat myself <laughs> and I went G, I mean J. And then I got disqualified. I went behind the stage and I bawled my eyes out for forever and my mom had to come comfort me and it was traumatic. I haven't been the best speller and obviously it freaking shows with this. So that is my spelling bee story. I hope it was funny and I could probably still not spell as well as I did when I was younger. Ooh, this is kind of spicy, okay. But I drew Daenerys Targaryen, not finished, does not look like her. Oh my God, another another book. You can see there's my little sister, my two brothers, and there's me with the bow and arrow. I also watched Narnia once and was like obsessed. Y'all. <laughs> there's a shirtless boy in the book. <laughs> you could you could tell, you could tell the, the realizations were happening. Okay, back to more like art art. So this is a self portrait I did like in 2016 or 2015. I look like an actual fetus. Like they just pulled me straight from the womb. I can't, it's so funny. It's actually not that bad. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of the box and I grabbed the last few drawings and I'm gonna go through them now with you. So this one's actually really cool. So this is a digital painting I did when I got my iPad back in like 2015 or 2016. Uh, and I went to a music festival and saw Grimes and had like my whole mind blown. I love Grimes and I love seeing her live. This is of Grimes's friend, Hannah. She's a musician. I still really like her music a lot. And she posted it and I like shot myself and like was so excited. Still pretty solid. Uh, this one on the other hand, <laughs> Not so much. This was one of my first watercolor paintings. One of my first paintings ever. Ah, I love this. <laughs> I love this. It's freaking Melina from Mortal Kombat. She's just in her thong and her freaking bralette and she's gonna kill someone. This is everything. I'm gonna keep this and frame it. This outfit though. Where can I get one, please? And thank you. One year for Halloween, I really wanted to be Melina, but then like I had to have discernment and be like, David, I'm an eight year old boy. Do I need to be dressed as Melina? Probably not. 
I think I remember showing this to my mom and at the time we were like going to church and my mom was like, oh. and I was like, ah, yes. <laughs> That's the best thing I've found so far. A little pen and ink illustration. And this is, this is World of Warcraft fan art, I think. There's so much going on. I played a night elf. <laughs> I don't know when any of these are from. Oh, uh, this is a drawing I did of Lana Del Rey. I think that one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. I remember I did a painting of this one too, and that painting was actually like decent, and it was like my third acrylic painting, and it got me so excited and in love with painting. So I started looking up tutorials and learning more by 2016, 2015. Um, this is some Silence of the Lambs looking shit. I don't know what that is, girl. Then on the back, there's like a naked girl. <laughs> Anime looking chick? I don't know. She's cute. I didn't really draw a lot of anime stuff. It's more World of Warcraft. There's some, lots of boobs still. <laughs> and yeah, I did I did these drawings back when I got my Copic markers. And I think I did these two drawings and then they ate the dust. And I was without markers because literally it absorbed into the paper and killed them. It was so sad. <laughs> and I thought grand finale should be this because it's really precious. I think it's the oldest thing I have. This is from like first grade or second, second grade. And this is a drawing that I did of a gorgeous little bird. <laughs> Isn't he cute? I just love it. And like, it's so fun to look back on because I literally remember doing all of these drawings and feeling like I was a boss bitch. Like I would finish like the Melina drawing. I'll remind you of what it looked like because it was fabulous. <laughs> And I'd be like, I'd be like, oh my God, this is the best I'm gonna get. This is the most amazing thing I'm ever gonna make. I've hit my peak. I can be done. Leonardo da Vinci step aside, queen. But like, it just shows that you always grow and you should never stop practicing and that with enough practice, you can literally do anything you want. That was really fun. If you want me to do more videos like that, let me know. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Also leave some questions. I'll do a Q&A in my next video. Let me know which drawing was your favorite. Which one was the creepiest? Which one did you hate? Which one did you love? Give me all that tea, girl. And yeah, let's talk about it because that was hilarious. <laughs> and again, let me know which one of these I should repaint in my current style with my current skills. And maybe I'll do another one of these videos down the line with some older sketchbooks. But if you stayed around for the whole video, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing that and I really hope you guys like watching it. And I think I'll just see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys wanna see from me. Again, amazing things coming really soon. I love all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later guys. Bye.